Hi, uh, today I wanted to show you how to navigate the, the user testing mobile recorder app uh, on an iOS device. So the first thing you're going to do is from your home screen, just tap on the icon there. That'll bring you to the login screen. Uh, since it's going to ask for my password, I'm going to pause for just a second while I log in. All right now that I'm logged in, uh, you can see the first thing that you'll notice is, oops, is the, the list of tests that are available to you. Um, there's actually two tabs. One is tests that I can take on this device, meaning uh, on an iPhone specifically. And then if you switch over to all tests, these are all of the other tests that are available to you, including the ones for this device. Uh, but you can see how these accept buttons are grayed out. Uh, that's because this one requires the camera to take. Uh, this one's for a tablet, and this is a phone. Um, you know, these are all camera tests that you have to take using the old IPVO cameras and not with the, uh, the app. So that's the difference between the two. So you're, you always want to look on this device when you're looking for tests that you can take uh, right now. Up on the top is your profile with your star rating, uh, your username, and then you can tap on that to see your payment pending, uh, your rating again, and you can uh, view our tester support center or contact our support team uh, or log out. <clears throat> uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to accept a test here. You could also decline tests from your dashboard by tapping on decline. Um, now it's time to turn on do not disturb. This is important so you don't actually get calls or messages during a test. So on iOS, if you just swipe up from the top, you can see that my uh, do not disturb is actually already turned on, but I'll turn it off and turn it back on so you can see how that works and then just swipe right back down. Go ahead and continue. Uh, this is the microphone check. As soon as the next button uh, becomes active, you know that your voice is loud enough to keep going. Uh, this will just tell you the requirements. Um, these are the generic re requirements. You must use an iPhone or Android phone. Um, so this test is for any type of phone, but we're using an iPhone. There will be any other requirements here that were specific to this test also. All right, so this is the scenario or the mindset that the client wants you to take while you uh, complete the test. So you heard about this site from a friend. Uh, you want to see how you can donate the gift to a community in need. So I'm going to start recording. Gives you a little countdown there. So the first thing you're going to see on an iOS test is tap with three fingers to show the test page. Try it now. So what you need to do is take three fingers like this and just tap on the screen and it will register. It said, great, let's start testing. Um, so if you actually try to go next without going to the site itself, it will remind you again to tap with three fingers to show the page. Again, if you just make a three finger tap like that, it will load the page that you need to be testing. Or if it's an app test, it'll bring up the app. And that's how you actually get back and forth between the user testing app to see the tasks and you know press the next button and to visit the site that you're visiting. And that's how you go back and forth between the two. So once you read the task, you know, look around the site, try to learn what you can do here, what it's who it's for and what it offers. Once you've read that and you're ready to go take a look at the site, do that three finger tap and it'll bring it right up. And then once you're ready to go on to the next task, do the three finger tap again and it'll bring you back to the user testing app. Uh, you can use the pause button here if you need to. If you look at the top, you can see there's a blinking red line that indicates that you're being recorded. Once you tap on the pause button, it turns into a blue line. That's another uh, way you can know that it's paused and that'll follow you to the site. So you know that right now I'm not recording anything because it's paused. And you go back and unpause, it, it turns red again. There's a menu here at the top left that you can use to uh, review the test scenario. So if you forget what website you're supposed to be testing, or if you just forget what mindset you're supposed to have, that can help you out there. And if you need to report a problem, if you get stuck, or if something happens, or the site's not loading, you can report a problem to our support team there. Um, so since this is just a, a, an example test, I'm going to skip through these tasks. Normally, you'd actually need to go to the site uh, and review all of these uh, in order to, to complete the test, but since this is just an example, I'm just going to breeze through these. Okay, so it says, step five out of nine, you're about to finish the recorded portion of the test. Please add any final thoughts before going on to the written questions. So when you see that, you know that uh, this is your last chance to, to do or say anything else, because once you press next, there will be any more recording of your voice uh, or, or video. So, and you can see that it turned blue, indicating that it's no longer recording. These are the post-test questions. Again, I'm just going to put real short answers. Um, normally, you're going to need to write out a full answer here, but 
like I said, this is just an example. And then as soon as you hit submit, you won't be able to put anything else in and then the upload will start. And you can see there's a little progress bar there. And as soon as it's done, you get a little high five notification. You tap done and it brings you back uh, to your, your homepage and the list of available tests.